I have always loved the old National Road, and one of the great things about moving to Washington, D.C. and living there for 20 years was tracing the road out east. The first interstate highway. The plan was to go from the Washington, D.C. area to St. Louis, but they only got as far as here, Vandalia, in west central Illinois. This is the old, old, old pavement of US 40. That's the new alignment, but it all, even when it was a wagon trace, ended up downtown. But long before there was four-lane US 40, the old National Road, begun in the early part of the 1800s, was the way west for hundreds of thousands of pioneers. Eventually, it was bricked. And in Ohio, there are still a few beautifully preserved sections of the Brick National Road. But why Vandalia? Why come all this way and never make it all the way to the Mississippi River? To either St. Louis or Alton? The reason? You guessed it. Money. Congress said no because the country was in an early depression in 1837. And so the old National Road ended up at this very historic place, Vandalia, Illinois. The brick sidewalk here and all the historical signs commemorate visits from Abraham Lincoln and when this was the state capital in Vandalia. But there is another reason why it should be remembered. It's where the old National Road ended. I'm Dennis Daly.